we take air travel for granted. Massive airliners crisscross the globe in their thousands, cocooning hundreds of passengers at a time in almost total safety. In the last two decades, the digitization of airliner cockpits has made way for a whole new generation of integrated flight safety systems. And much of this development is being carried out by NASA's Langley Research Center at Hampton, Virginia. Langley's Boeing 757-200 Airborne Research Integrated Experiment System, or ARIES airliner, is the test platform for a range of integrated flight system programs over the next 20 years. NASA 557 was the second 757 produced, serving with launch customer Eastern Airlines before being obtained by NASA in 1994, replacing NASA 515, the first 737 produced and now resident at Seattle's Museum of Flight. The 757 has picked up where the 737 left off. So far, 557 has been used for automated landings using GPS, a study on jet engine contrails, computerized airport maps to assist pilots in landing, taxiing and takeoffs. Synthetic Vision, an airborne system allowing closely spaced approaches to landings during reduced visibility, also increasing airport capacity. And a real-time strategic and tactical weather information system. The Airy 757 accommodates 12 research stations in the baseline layout, with others added as needed. AirsideTV.com visited Langley in 2003 to look over the Airy 757. Implementation engineer Jim Fay of the Systems Development Branch explained to us some of the features on board. Here we have an evaluation pilot auxiliary display where we'll be displaying weather information that's uplinked through a SkyPhone data link. And the pilot will have tactical and strategic information on this display. And he can choose various implementations of those weather displays using the trackball in the center console. And this trackball is driving a computer that's in one of our research pallets in the back, which then drives the evaluation pilot's display. For the researcher's purposes, we'll also have those same displays on the jump seat auxiliary display, which is at the jump seat for the researcher. And they will also be able to show the synthetic vision displays at this, and that will be a copy of the normal displays on our synthetic vision research display, or SVRD. Pilots normally get their weather information from ATC on the ground and they'll get it during a briefing while they're sitting at taxi and it's not updated very frequently except for in the case of other pilot reports, pi reps. That's how they get uh, real-time updates and now we'll be uplinking weather data through NEXRAD stations and an NCWD station and those are updated every 5 to 15 minutes. Well, the major benefit, I think, is through the tactical use. There's, a, like I said, a strategic use where he can look at a regional or a national display of weather radar. And the tactical use is as he approaches certain cells with turbulence in them or hail or tornadic events, he can then um, zoom in on those particular cells and use a more close-in or tactical approach to fly around or over them. And the displays come with uh, various information such as the storm top heights so that he knows how high he'd have to fly to get over it as opposed to having to divert around it. The main work now is to get server and client and processing down to smaller computer systems. Keep watching AirsideTV.com when we check out more of the Langley aircraft fleet, take a look at the Apollo gantries and Langley's research wind tunnel only on airsidetv.com.